okay? So that's the earthworm for the external structure. What you need to know, the first thing you need to know will be clitalum. Okay, clitalum is this circular structure throughout mm -hmm. the section. And after you identify clitalum, you would know the shorter end will be the head, and then the longer end will be the tail, okay? And then after you identify head and tail, you would know the opening on the head will be the mouth, and then opening on the back will be the anus, mm -hmm. okay? So it's very easy for the uh, external structure. And internal structure, we have to start from the head, okay? So uh, when it's needy, I will reflect back to the diagram because sometimes it's kind of hard to explain on here, okay? So here, again, the opening will be the mouth, okay? And then you go further down, you will see this whitish structure. That's called pharynx. It's just like a human mouth pharynx. And you go downwards, you will see this tubular structure right here. It's kind of embedded inside the structure. And then that's called esophagus, okay? So mouth, pharynx, esophagus. And now if you follow esophagus all the way down, you will see this gray area, okay? And when you touch it, it's like a softer back. And then the one next to it, and we touch it, it's kind of harder. And then the softer one is called crop, C-R-O-P. It's function as a stomach, okay? And then the one behind it, this one, when you touch it's harder, that's called gizzard. What happened is in earthworm, they don't have teeth. So food will go through mouth, pharynx, esophagus, all the way to crop to store over there. And then it will go through gizzard to grind up, okay? And then go through intestine. So where is the intestine is actually right here. So before I go to intestine, uh, I need to show you this black fossil. Okay, so it go all the way along the whole section. You will see this black line right here. That's called dorsal vessel, okay? Because what happened is when you touch the worm, you will see this side's flat, and that side's kind of triangular. This side's flat is what we call ventral side. So ventral side and that's dorsal side. What happens is we pin down the flat side and we expose the dorsal side. That's why what we're seeing right here will be the dorsal vessel, okay? And then beneath dorsal vessel, he put a pin like right there. He's asking about intestine, okay? So it's dorsal vessel, intestine on the bottom, okay? Now, after we identify digestive system, we need to go through reproductive system, okay? So I need to refer back to this diagram, okay? So here, this diagram, you will see this section, okay? This section, we have several pairs of structure. So the first pair, number seven, is what we call seminal receptacle, and then the second, second pair it will be seminal vesicle. So seminal receptacle again, and then the last pair is a huge chunk that will be seminal vesicle. So usually how marks remember it is if you have a larger structure, you have a shorter name, okay? If you have smaller structure, you have a longer name because the receptacle is longer than the vesicle, okay? And then how I remember it is RV and then RV, okay? So that's how we identify it. Usually on the praticum, we have to go back to the actual specimen right here, okay? So here, usually he will test you guys on the very last pair, okay? So that will be the seminal vesicle, okay? Because it's really easy to pin on, okay? So that's the seminal vesicle, okay? And then you trace backwards and you will see those tiny black dots over that area. Mm -hmm. That's what we call five aortic arch. Okay, mm -hmm. those just acting like assistant to the uh, dorsal vessel is right here. Okay, so it's right there. So that'll be phyotic arch. And then what else you need to know? Okay, so here, go back to this diagram. You will see number two. Number two will be those two white dots. Okay, those two white dots are what we call cerebral ganglion. That's their brain, okay? It's a very tiny brain, so they are super smart, mm -hmm. okay? So those will be on uh, uh, cerebral ganglion. So those two white dots is actually right here, but it's very, very hard to see, so less likely he would test you on that one, 
okay? But I just want you to know those are the two white dots. And then the very last structure I want to talk about will be the metanephridium. So you, for earthworm, you can see those sections, okay? They have different sections. In each section, you will see this whitish lump. If I blow up this section, you will see something like here. So number 13, this whitish pouch, that's what we call metanephridium. That's their kidney. Okay, so all the ex excretory system is actually in here. So they have multiple kidney throughout the body. Okay, and let's see. And then the very last thing I want to point out is, so you see the clitellum, and then everything we're seeing right here is within this section. So this section would give it a name. It's prost prostomium. Okay, so prostomium is the very first section of the earthworm. Okay, so that's the dissection of the earthworm.